Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you, Ms. Telford, for appearing. Uh, Ms. Telford, through you, Madam Chair, uh, Mr. Brock provided the context of the special report date stamped January of 2022. So now that he has provided that context, can you confirm that the Prime Minister received that document and did he read it? Uh, so in terms of the specific document that you're referencing that was mentioned in reporting, uh, sorry, Madam Chair, that the um, and that the previous member was mentioning, I can't speak to whether or not we've been briefed on um, any specific documents or any specific subjects. But taking a step back from that and to the member's second part of his question, of course the Prime Minister reads any documents he does receive. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Ms. Telford, when was the Prime Minister first briefed about Beijing's election interference in the 2019 election? When? Um, so you've received from, Madam Speaker, the, the committee has received uh, from the NSIA the list of formal briefings that was put together as, as best everybody could uh, in terms of formal briefings on subjects to do with election Ms. foreign Ms. interference. Ms. Telford, uh, respectfully, through you, Madam Chair, I'm not just asking about formal briefings. I'm asking when did the Prime Minister become aware of Beijing's election interference in the 2019 election? Just the date, please. It's been five months. It's been repeatedly asked. Uh, you're the top official in the Prime Minister's office. Canadians deserve to know when he first learned about it. Could you please answer? Madam, Madam Speaker, I would just take a, or Madam Chair, I would take a step back and just say this has been an ongoing conversation over many months and years as to what prospects were of potential foreign interference. It's why these different organizations were in place. It's why there was a report that came out of the 2019 campaign yeah. or election. Again, uh, Ms. Telford, I want to be clear that uh, Canadians deserve uh, a date, so maybe to uh, provide uh, some, you know, to, to uh, provide further clarity, uh, the Intelligence Assessment Secretariat of the PCO prepared a daily foreign intelligence brief dated February 21st, 2020. Uh, in which uh, it, 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 that document has been produced to this committee, a heavily redacted version of that document. It speaks of, quote, uh, subtle but effective interference networks in the context of Beijing and its interference in the 2019 election. Uh, it speaks of, quote, investigations into activities linked to the Canadian federal election in 2019 reveal an active foreign interference network. On what date did the Prime Minister receive this document? I could not tell you what date he did or didn't receive a document. D did it's the Prime Minister receive that document? I, I don't have that information in front of me in terms of that specific document you're you, holding. You don't have any information about that document. Now, it was a daily and foreign intelligence brief for you, Madam Chair. It was, in the, it was a daily foreign intelligence brief. Uh, Ms. Thomas said that it would have been in the Prime Minister's daily reading material. Would she be wrong? It may have been. Um, I am not suggesting she's wrong. It's that I can't speak to where he was that day. Sometimes briefs, briefs come in a whole bunch of different formats um, because those, that, those kinds of pieces of information are not just floating around. Um, so I don't know whether he got a verbal brief that day, whether he got a re weekly wrap-up that week, or whether this was a daily one that he it, had on his desk. This, this document has been widely reported. It's one of the very few documents that have been produced to this committee, and it's highly relevant mm -hmm to the question of what the Prime Minister knew and when he knew about Beijing's election interference. And your inability or refusal to answer uh, whether the Prime Minister had, in fact, read this document, was briefed about it, uh, is troubling. It doesn't inspire confidence, and in, in, in fact, it invites suspicion. And uh, perhaps your unwillingness to confirm that uh, is because, as Global News has reported, uh, that document spoke of, quote, foreign interference networks in the greater Toronto area that implicate at least 11 candidates in the 2019 election, uh, that Beijing's Toronto consulate was involved, and that it involved the clandestine transfer of funds. So, in other words, the Prime Minister seemingly knew 
as early as February of 2020 about candidates. Why has he misled Canadians for the past five months? Um, so a couple of things, Madam uh, Chair, is one, everything the Prime Minister receives, um, he spends a lot of time with and he most definitely reads. Uh, so I can confirm that if they are documents that he received, he absolutely read them. Second, that he's briefed on matters of foreign interference and matters of election foreign interference as per the documents you have received um, on a regular and ongoing basis. And third, on the specifics of what, of what you were referencing there, I can't get into, unfortunately, in this public setting, um, what was or wasn't briefed on um, in, in, the, in the level of specificity you'd like.